if this was last year and you needed a, a defensive tackle or an edge rusher and you took Jalen Carter at number two overall, let's say, yeah, there's a lot more risk involved because you're, it's, you're essentially picking your foundational piece on your defensive line. You already did that. You got Aiden Hutchinson. Now you just need a defensive tackle and you have one that's going to probably fall to you at six. I think he goes top 10. I don't think Jalen Carter slides too far down. I've seen Mox. I, I can't remember who, the, who it was off the top of my head that had him at 18. I think that was... Um, Who's the GM who got fired from the Jets? Who is that guy who, who's on TV a lot? Uh, Tannenbaum. Him. He had him at 18, which I don't think is going to happen. I, I think he'll be a top 10 pick. I think Chicago will take him. You saw the reports of the Raiders visiting with Jalen Carter, which is ironic because they just came out a couple weeks ago and said, we have no interest in Jalen Carter. Oh, really? Now you're interviewing him. So clearly there's a little bit of interest. And, and that's why I think the narratives before the draft, the, all these narratives of different players, although Jalen Carter has some pretty bad narratives attached to him, right? The, the Getting in trouble with the law, lying to the police, uh, his pro day. I get all of that. But a lot of these things can be smoke screens. It doesn't mean Jalen Carter is going to fall to the 20s. I don't believe so. He's too damn good. I, and, and if you're the Lions and you're picking at six, you're going to have to convince yourself, okay, if you look at Jalen and say, he's not our guy, he's not a Lion, okay, who are you taking at six? And are you willing to sacrifice that caliber of player simply because he doesn't fit maybe your ideal uh, personality trait? But people act like he'll never change. I think that's my problem too. Is, is They think if you get Jalen Carter right now at 21 years old with the mistakes he's made, that he will never be corrected. As if there's pros that come into the NFL that have no history that end up getting in trouble with the law anyway. So again, it's a nasty game. He plays a nasty position. I'm not trying to defend him, but what I am saying is, am I willing to pass on him because of the character traits? No, I'm not. And I'm not going to sit there and take a, a Christian Gonzalez, a Gonzalez or a Tyree Wilson simply because I'm nervous. Like, if, if you believe in Dan, you believe in the foundation these guys have set with the players involved, the last thing I'm concerned about is Jalen Carter walking in and ruining everything.